suburb of Middleton, USA, three classmates spent the evening in a treehouse studying adult magazines in order to learn all the secrets of the universe. Frank is the most experienced, so he tells his friends about methods of female contraception. But he knows all this only from magazines, and then Frank sadly remembers that he never saw his mother because she died at his birth. Tom, Frank's father, works as a physics teacher and is a little out of touch with reality because he spends all his free time in the botanical garden or in the swamps near the suburbs, protecting rare species from extinction. During breakfast, Frank asks his father if there is such a point in women, touching which can drive them crazy. The father replies that he has never found such a point. Frank believes that the popular magazine is not lying, so he leaves this question for someone else. At school, Frank once again tries to talk to Stacy, the most beautiful classmate, but she does not pay attention to him. Later, Frank invites his friends to collect $100 to go to the big city and give it to any woman who agrees to undress in front of them. Curiosity and a thirst for knowledge force friends to save on dinners and sell out their magazines. Having collected $103, Frank and two friends ride into town on bicycles and fasten them to the fence, and then go in search of a suitable woman, simply asking each passerby if she is a prostitute. A tramp observes this process and decides to take advantage of the schoolchildren's naivety, inviting them to show such a woman in the nearest underground parking. In a deserted place, a tramp pulls out a gun and demands money, when suddenly he is deafened by the door of a limousine, which was opened by a beautiful, skimpily dressed girl. Her client is not happy, so the limo immediately leaves, and the girl is left without income. Her name is Wee, and now she urgently needs $100 or she will get into trouble with her pimp, so the schoolboys offer the girl a deal. V agrees and together they arrive at a motel room, where she takes off the top of her dress and earns $100 in 5 seconds. Later, Frank and his friends discover that their bicycles have been stolen and the schoolchildren do not know how to return home without money. V comes to the pimp named Cash, who lives nearby. Cash considers his work very important and constantly puts part of the money he earns from prostitutes into his hiding place. An influential mafioso, to whom Cash is obliged to give large sums of money, suspects the pimp of theft and offers to meet in person. Cash goes out into the street, and V, watching the mafia's car drive up, suddenly notices familiar schoolchildren who are getting wet in the rain. V takes Cash's car to give the boys a ride home. Frank thanks V for her help and leaves, while she spends a minute looking at the serene suburban street, the cozy houses, and the people who live here. For a moment, V imagines herself as part of another life, happy and family one, but the harsh reality brings her back. The minute ends and V starts the engine when suddenly the car refuses to move. Frank lets the girl into the house so she can call the city and report the breakdown. When suddenly Frank's father, Tom, returns home. V is about to leave, but Frank introduces her to his father. Frank tells his father in private that she is a new math tutor and her car has broken down, so Tom immediately decides to help the girl. While examining the car, Tom cannot quickly figure out the cause of the breakdown, so he warns that repairs will take some time. Tom admires V's desire to get the world better. V is sure that Frank told Tom the whole truth about her work, in which case Tom's calm attitude surprises her. He promises to inspect the car more thoroughly the next morning, and now he offers to give V a ride home. But she refuses and goes to the center of the suburb to earn extra money there in the evening. Frank notices B, who offers services to strangers, and advises her to stop selling her body, because the schoolboy sincerely wishes her a better fate and career growth, but in a different area. V is pleased to hear these words, but she has nowhere to spend the night, and then the guy invites V to live in his tree house. Frank brings a blanket and pajamas for V, then admits that he would like to make her friends with his father, because he has lost interest in girls and spends all his time on the moon near Middleton. V sincerely wishes Tom a better girl, considering herself inferior and spoiled. But Frank is persistent and does not want to give up on his idea. At school, Frank fails a test on knowledge of the basics of the female reproductive system, so the teacher demands that he retake the material in tomorrow's lesson in front of the whole class. In the morning, V takes a bath at Frank's house and accidentally learns from the news about the death of her pimp Cash. She calls her friend and colleague and finds out that before his death, Cash confessed to the mafia that it was V 
who stole money and now keeps it. She realizes that the mafioso is already looking for her and Cash's parked car near the house only aggravates her situation. V hurries to the swamp to ask Tom to fix the car as soon as possible. She admires the beauty of the wilderness and says Tom's work to protect these places is very important. Tom admits that the authorities will soon kick him out of here because construction will soon begin here. Probably because someone thinks building houses in a swamp is a very smart idea. V enjoys Tom's attention, so the idea of staying in Middleton for a while doesn't seem so crazy to her. Later, Frank finds V at home, taking a bath. A schoolboy asks for some assistance with a report on the reproductive system, and V agrees to help Frank out. The next day, Frank, taking advantage of the teacher's absence, closes the class from the inside and gives a speech about the reproductive system, using V as a model. This idea delights the classmates, and Frank becomes the star of the school. Tom pays more and more attention to V and invites her to spend the evening together, walking around the suburbs. Tom admits that since the death of his wife he has never met such a soulmate. And then for the first time V feels like a desirable person and not a doll to play. Tom kisses her, then they continue to walk down the street, when suddenly one of the local men who previously used V's services recognizes her. Tom happily introduces her as a math tutor, and V realizes that Frank did not tell his father the truth about her profession. V escapes and returns to Cash's car. Trying to start an engine, V cries, when suddenly Tom appears and asks to explain her action. He learns about V's real life, and is angry at her and Frank because Tom did not plan to connect his life with a prostitute. They are quarreling near the car, when suddenly they notice Frank crying, whose dreams of starting a family with a new mother have been destroyed. Tom decides to give V a chance, and she reveals her real name, Eva. She changed her name because it was too biblical for her job. Tom kisses her passionately, and, realizing that they are getting closer, he warns V that the first time may hurt. When V laughs, Tom explains that he didn't mean sex, but a relationship which V probably never had. Later, a suburban resident and former client of V calls to the boardman service and is linked to the mafioso. The client wants to order exactly V and does not believe that she has disappeared, because he saw her in Middleton this evening. Having received the necessary information, the mafioso goes to the suburbs in search of V. The next day, V teaches Frank to dance, then they go to the grocery store, where suddenly a mafioso comes in and shows V's photo to everyone. He doesn't recognize her because V is dressed much more modestly than her employer is used to seeing her. V freezes in fear when Frank suddenly helps her out, calling her mom. After this, V decides to leave the suburbs because she is no longer safe here. In the evening, she combs Frank before the dance school party and assures him that today he will win the heart of Stacy, the most beautiful classmate. Frank admits that V has become like a mother to him and asks her to stay. V is deeply touched, but she must leave so as not to endanger Tom and Frank. Finally, the boy asks if V knows about a secret point on the girl's body to drive her crazy. V replies that such a point does not exist. While Tom lies under the car, V quietly goes to the station to catch the bus there. And Frank goes to the dance, leaving a note for his father. While waiting for the bus, V remembers the last days and still decides to support Frank on such an important evening for him and to leave Middleton later. In the bottom of Cash's car, Tom finds a cache that immobilizes the car. Having discovered Frank's note at home, Tom washes himself of the fuel oil in five minutes, puts the contents of the cash in a blue backpack, gets behind the wheel and goes to school. In the city center, a mafioso notices Cash's car and chases it, expecting to find V there. At the dance, the most beautiful girl in the class, Stacy, is waiting for an invitation from Frank. But he chooses her friend, because Stacy only began to like him after he became the star of the school and put on a leather jacket. Suddenly, in the middle of the hall, Frank sees V. The guy smiles, and then they start dancing together. A few minutes later, Tom arrives at the school, followed by a mafioso who sees V and wants to stealthily kidnap her. Tom invites V to dance, when suddenly he hears insults from one of the parents, the same former client of the girl. While Tom hits the client many times in the face, the mafioso deftly pulls B out of the crowd at gunpoint. He demands the return of the $250,000 that Cash hid in the car, but B knows nothing about it. 
Frank notices all this and turns on the fire alarm, driving everyone out into the street. Among the panicking crowd, the mafioso loses B, who hurries to her car. However, behind the wheel she finds Frank and his two friends, who are already pressing the pedals, because the mafioso does not want to give up. Ahead on the train tracks, Frank sees an approaching train, and the schoolboy speeds up to get through the barrier, leaving the mafioso behind. They succeed, but from such a chase and load the car suddenly catches fire, so V grabs Frank's backpack and quickly helps the schoolchildren leave the car. The mafioso sees only the charred remains of the car and concludes that V is dead. Later, V asks the main mafia boss to let her go forever, and in return for this, she shares information about the theft of one of his subordinates, who pursued her yesterday and embezzled the money for himself. V gets her freedom and leaves the hotel room, almost forgetting Frank's backpack there. Inside, V finds wads of dollars and realizes that all this time she was a meter away from the money stolen by the pimp. The next morning, Tom, as usual, sits in the swamps, stopping developers from seizing the land. The police arrive and give him a choice, either he leaves this place himself or he will be arrested. Tom goes to the end and, as a true conservationist, he chooses prison, because his son is smart and mature enough to raise himself. However, Tom and Frank are lucky because B arrives and says that she bought this site with the help of probably the most clever lawyer in the world who, ignoring the rights of the developer, can pull off complex land transactions overnight. Hugging Tom, B tells Frank that she knows where the very point that he is so persistently looking for is in a woman's heart, and if he touches it with warmth and care, then any girl will go crazy. 